Now I have to replace a couple of rusty brake lines on the Honda Civic here. So uh, I'll just give you a look at them and uh, show you how it's done and um, how to uh, manufacture a couple of new brake lines. And uh, you can see there now the rust on the end of that sharp brake line. And um, I sprayed a bit of uh, WD on it. Try and um, free it up. Now in this situation sometimes if you put an open ended spanner on that you'll strip it. So sometimes it's better to cut through the pipe if it's very rusty with a hacksaw, a junior hacksaw and then using a socket and a deep socket or a ringer work the nut out that way or work the fitting out that way. Now I'll cut that pipe off okay so now I'll be able to get a a tan ringer over that and there you are you see it's a nice tight fit on it right so there's no chance of it stripping it so I'll be able to save the fitting okay and the same you got to look at that same down there now I got those two fittings out without any problem using the ringer you see yourself see it in there now I need to manufacture a new pipe now I have the uh, piece of pipe off here right and uh, by cutting through the pipe it's rubbish anyway you also save the integrity of the pipe because when them fittings are uh, corroded when the pipe is corroded and they're kind of welded to the fitting um, if you use a spanner on them and even if you do get the fitting free it'll actually sometimes twist the pipe completely out of shape and I want to use that pipe as a guide to mould my uh, my um, new line so um, that's the best way to do it is to cut through it and then you, you've know, you know I have stripped them before by using a, a spanner on them and uh, much better off using a ringer I've cleaned up the, the fitting now the way to get it out is you have a little bit left over right just give it a sharp tap Now, that's all our pipe, and there's our two fittings. Perfect. Now I need to replicate that pipe. First of all, I need to put a double flare on one end of the pipe. This is the copper here, I'm after cutting the length of it. You're working out the length of it, just, you can use a bit of string, it's probably the best way to do it. But it's only a sharp pipe here, so it doesn't really matter, but you don't want to use too much of it. Just roll it around, kind of get an idea. Leave about another couple of inches on top of that, right? And uh, remember to leave the bits there. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to put a double flare on the end of this pipe. For that, I'm going to use this uh, power hand flare until... in the tool, pull it back about pull it back about 10 millimeter three eighth of an inch tighten these up by hand just gently there now not too much put your dead stop in and you'll feel it pushing the pipe back you get the ready end stop tighten these two up equally Now, take the dead stop out. A pile of grease that comes with it. Now, first thing you need to do is use OP1. Okay, put a little bit of grease on it. Screw that in there. 
open it up. You see that, I think, OP1 there. Now, get to the end, up it out. Reverse it. Pop it out. Clean off the end. Okay. How's your fitting on? Don't forget your fitting. Okay? Now. What I need to do now, let's get this into shape. So what I'm going to do is, let me have a look at that there. Okay. Get around, get us that end there. This end here. You see there where they fail it, they put a top, a top of paint on it. The NCT. Now. Not rocket science as the fellow says. Close enough is close enough. Yeah, just give it a little bit of a see where I am with that. Now any twist in that can actually be warped when it's actually on. To be honest with you, well, I'll probably get a bit of a twist on that thing now. It'll be the smart thing to do. What I need to do now is give that a bit of a twist like that. Okay. Don't get any bit further that way. Now look at that, look. You know, it's where it was actually Now, this also like, gives me now a better indication as to the length that I need, right? So, what I can do now is, I'm happy enough that I then um, get that into shape, just give it a bit of a twist that way. Okay? Hold on a minute here. Make sure you don't be bending too near the where uh, you're going to be cutting. Now, that's pretty good. So, now I will get my. Uh, Measuring the end of it here. Just there. Where's that pencil going to? Okay. Give it a 
little bit for the really critical. None of this is totally critical. You have loads around your fire. Okay, now give it just a wipe, take the edge off it, and same again, oh, of course, make sure you put the, um, the fitting on. <laughs> it can happen. Tighten it up a bit. Okay. In about okay, hand tight. Dead stop in. Now you feel it pushing the pipe back into the end. Tighten up your two tens, three eighths. Out with the dead stop. In with OP1. Sixteen. Whatever that is in the American money. Back out. Reverse. Give it a wipe. Now, yeah, that's the next double flare. Which are fitting up. And let's go out and put it on. Now, I have the new pipe on there, right? As you can see. Uh, I just have to shine the light right here, unfortunately, it's a bit dark. Right there. Oh, yeah, you can see it there now, right? I'm just gonna, uh, just gonna tighten them up now, okay? You have to obviously you have to use an open end to tighten it. Now I'm gonna bleed the brakes now. Okay, pump it up. Pump it up a few times. I right, hold it down. Pump it up. Hold it down. Pump it up. Hold it down. Okay, that's it. Now 
Now when you're um, bleeding the brakes as you saw me do there, kind of pull it back up again before um, you anticipate that whoever's pumping the brakes will have the brake pedal to the floor. Just bring it back up again and don't pull on them uh, bleeding nipples too hard or they'll bust. So, um, and like as you see there, just get all the uh, air out of it and uh, make sure you keep topping up the master cylinder and don't put the lid on the master cylinder while you're bleeding and make sure that the lid is off. Okay, that's about it on that. Make sure you dry off those lines completely after you've bled the system. So I'll use a bit of kitchen roll or something on it, get it bone dry around the, the fittings and uh, pump the brakes a few times and then check for leaks around the actual the fitting. Okay, and if you find a little bit of a leak at all, just nip it. This is the opposite one. I don't know if you can see that, you can see the rot on it. Amazingly enough, when I cut through the pipe, there's a lot of steel still left in that pipe. But uh, I can understand from the viewpoint of uh, road safety that it has to be uh, replaced because you don't know how deep that rust is. And uh, so anyway, this procedure is just the same as the far side. I'm going to cut that pipe, about half an inch of pipe, uh, left over, get a ringer on it. Otherwise, those fittings, I will lose them fittings if I don't, and I haven't got any spare. And there's the two new brake lines on. And over here, there you go. Just make sure you bleed all the air out and uh, just check for leaks 